all right guys welcome back to the channel today's video is sponsored by i was just messing around <laughs> it's not sponsored by anybody <laughs> anyways so um new update dropped um and when the new update dropped uh yesterday i was very excited i was as a matter of fact so excited that i did not go to sleep and i was like till three o'clock i'm like stats will matter but i had a thought you know that this thing will be tricked out in a different way this will be laid out in a different way and that's exactly what happened um the first things that they did is that was a whole makeover it will be going from zero i never thought that happened to be honest but i thought that they're going to slowly slowly introduce the thing but they wanted to start all the pegas back from scratch and hence um <laughs> you will see that uh, dip coming up after that uh you know like where people are losing a little bit confidence and stuff like that so um you know markets are markets you don't control markets you know my job is to make sure that you know what's going on and what you're jumping into so let's talk about the updates and in this video we are going to share what all stuff we are going to track because tracking these elements have become super hard and um even even though i track it doesn't make sense i will tell you why so let's go to our desktop scene and let's share you why it has been so you know like hard so for example let's show this uh pega for you um this is now an 11 percent horse now bef before this this pega now remind you this that this is a 30 stacked horse so eight plus four ten ten and um and uh 9 plus 2 is 11, 21, 21, 27, 28, 29, 30. So this is a 30 overall stat horse. And this is how people were calculating back in the days. Now, let's roll back to our old sheets, which, again, will not matter from here onwards. You can <laughs> take that, crumble the sheet, and throw it away. It's not going to matter anymore. Uh, it is what it is. It is what it is. Um Jesus Christ, I never thought that they're going to do it in this way. But um, let's go back. So this was our 30 stat horse. Um, as you can see on an average, it was actually making really good amount. Uh, if we go to our profit chart. Hold on, sheets. It was actually good, doing very good. It was very stable. And um, uh, let's go for Pegaxi Profit March. Where is Pabo Sheikh? Pabo Sheikh is a 21% horse, uh, horse back in the days or Pegas back in the days. Let me just uh, do an uh, average of this. Yep. So it was still making 204 vis on an average, you know, like to be honest. And before the update and after the update, it doesn't matter. It was still making a decent like... 200 to 300 one day drop to 49 this was an error date which i did not calculate and all that stuff so yeah um and we plotted all of that out here and um, we were doing good our basic was around about 175 to 250 but um, no matter what we saw the game was going on as an rng right no matter what all charts and these all charts are there for you to look around so it is still I'm not deleted them yet and I have no plan in the future to delete it also. So these all stats are available for you to check out in uh, description down below. And these were all the trackings that we did after that March 15th update. But now this game still remains an RNG. Still it's an RNG. So overall stats, I am not seeing any change. I have seen Pegas and I'm going through Pegaxi's discussion page. I'm looking through it. And a lot of people are reporting same stuff with proof that they are not seeing any change with their overall stats. So win rate might be the still deciding factor if you want a better ROI in this game. Now, um, there is another theory. Let's go back to our desktop live skin again. There is another theory that this, th this theory pertains to something like this. Is that um, if I go a new on a new tab and I can collect um, a data, which is uh, going to be... 
like this and I put um, <coughs> let me see, pick up my weakest pega which is three six four two six three weakest pega and if we calculate this if we look around this you will see that um, more factors that are contributing is weather wind speed weather wind direction weather humidity weather light weather fire so light or lightning and fire is something that you need to consider also wind S speed so speed wind light fire huh. speed wind light and fire these are the four elements that maybe you're considering so I am thinking in a lot of these directions going through registries and everything and um, if I take this to my highest win rate um, which is the 50% one um, I sh probably should not even do this but uh, yeah but whatever um, you know like hold on a second and if I take this to one of the highest win rate, like for example, take it as, um, no, I'm not gonna take it, probably like this one, you know. And uh, look into this, the registry still depend on fire, lightning, wind. I don't know what is humidity going to be doing with this, wind direction, uh, speed. Wind speed, wind direction, humidity, weather lightning, weather fire these are the registries that i'm seeing as of now so even if i find a change for you this is not going to help you out at any way even if i go through all this data this is not going to help you out in any way uh, but we can actually find a correlation uh you know like um correlation of something like for example we go to pegas uh can race okay uh, let's go and check this out uh, it has zero races on it and these all stats doesn't mean a thing it can come out to be an amazing pega like an like an amazing pack pega why because watch this so i picked this pega up for 49 bucks okay i'm just going to show you um for some reason they are going super slow right now or i don't know whether i'm getting hacked or not but whatever but who's going to still like yeah they're probably super slow so for example i picked this up for like super less okay i picked it up for 49 i was expecting to be a 15 percenter um this has more one more races than my actual one which is 33 it's sitting at 11 percent the other one is at 17 80 so how are you going to like what is going on like how are you understanding what is contributing to this so even if i explain you that this you know there might be a light wind factor that is contributing you cannot do anything right now or anything you know like uh, but it might help us to buy f or purchase few um, other pegas so what I'm doing is that I am trying to go through this API make a CSV format out of this API um, trying to see if I can find any correlation or not um, it, it should take me a whole week to go through all this because I'll be going through this whole week in the meantime um, do not do not go through all these trackers if you want I can remove them I just want to keep it so that uh, in the future people may know that uh, you know that these were available back in the days uh, we could track but this is like right now in a stage where I would not be able to track um and um let's see what's coming up so theory number one what we need to establish is um first things that we are establishing is does breed matter or not like which breed ma matters like haas compona clean uh and zan um so is haas even though it has lower breed um it does it matter or not remember this again i was having this discussion again in pegaxi discussion chat um and a lot of people are saying that hey if you're thinking in that perspective has also has got more population of horses so um, that might mean not be a true perspective but i'm still going to do it out of curiosity um it's just a theory and i'm going to you know back the theory up with 
whatever I'm thinking, I'm going to do that. Second thing I'm going to do, which will be more and more important for a whole week. Remember this, five days, that's what we do. We prepare those five days tracker. We will prepare a tracker to see what is contributing to win percentage. And uh, the problem is once I drop this five day tracker, a few days after there'll be breeding event and all that stuff. So in that way, you can get a idea of like what sort of pegas you're looking for. Um, or whenever somebody breeds, he knows what sort of what sort of pegas, you know, like he can sell for a higher price. Because remember this, due to that confusion of overall stats, a lot of people were selling gold pegas, pegas that are actually worth a lot after this update for like 30, 40 bucks. So a lot of people lost money. A lot of people sold high pegas, high stat pegas thinking, oh, this is gold. This is 40 plus stats. Guess what? They're making only 10% win rate, which is nothing compared to, uh, you know, like what it was before. So that's it from the channel Tekadu. I hope you guys share this vision. Um, there is a small um, notification button I think so where somewhere down below where you can click and you get notifications on when videos like this drop when my charts will come out um, until and unless I find that information uh, you will not see me posting um, any sort of videos or anything so stay, stay strong I will update you about progresses because that's what I do one week I'll be when I go through my you know, charts and everything, I keep on updating with small, small bits of information that I get. And then on the next week, which is going to be our deciding week, will be all the charts that will be dropped one by one. So that will be all from the channel Tekadu. I hope you guys enjoyed this presentation and see you guys on another episode. Um, to be honest, this video is not going to make like three bucks. So it doesn't matter if you sub or not. Uh, it what matters is that you understand the material or not you support the game or not um, if you want to subscribe uh, i mean you're more than welcome we do live sessions on twitch um usually i try to relax whenever i'm relaxing i'm on twitch uh, at twitch live i'm usually playing some video games and stuff like that just to relax on the side but i do host some twitch streams that will show you some real-time updates where you can real-time talk with me, have some questions, you know, direct questions that you have. Some I can answer, some I cannot. So there will be a scenario like that. So till then, goodbye, take care, um, stay healthy, don't stress out. Um, for some reason, this update was, I was super hyped on this update, um, felt a little bit weird. Um, but hey, I cannot judge anything or say anything about this until and unless I've seen a five-day tracker. Why? Because a five-day tracker will prove whether it's good or bad, whether they did any mistake or not. Last time they did a mistake on 15th of March where they bought those cooldowns. They understood they made a breeding event this time because Valentine's Day event doesn't do anything, to be honest, you know. It's just giving you different colors and nobody were able to sell those pegas for a higher price. So they did the correct thing. They laid down everything very correctly. Um, motto of this game is always low mint high burn in that way what happens is more supply um less uh, sorry more demand less supply but and you can check that on pegaxi.apollo i will just quickly go to a uh, desktop screen and show you out here and you go to metaverse overview um, you're going to see that for the last few days, um, there has been high minting, very high minting. And that is the reason you see that uh, the chart above me out here on the top, like literally above this frame, like literally up here, you will see that there is a huge drop uh, in this or anything. So do not freak out and watch that chart like clo closely because it's all depending on mint versus burn that's the ratio they want to stabilize mint versus burn mint versus we have crossed one stage we are on our second stage to mint versus burn ratio well i think 13 minutes 14 minutes is enough to chit chat because otherwise you guys lose uh, attention i see those i track those again on youtube and uh, see that people are losing attention after five minutes some of my guy friends are telling make it interesting i said how am i supposed to make it interesting it's data it's supposed to be boring but uh I'm out. <laughs> Take care.